ChatGPT already knows a bunch of things about you. And that is thanks to a little feature called memory that picks information up from the conversations you've had with ChatGPT and remembers them so that the next time you interact with the chatbot, it already knows that. So in this video, I am going to teach you everything I know about ChatGPT's memory. We'll see how it works, or how to update this memory, how to delete information from the memory, how to turn on or off this memory feature. And most importantly, I'm going to share one prompt with you that will allow you to teach ChatGPT everything you want it to know about you so that it becomes much better at creating outcomes. Let's go. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our AI channel. My name is Ronnie, and my goal on this channel is to make AI work for you. That means that I want to teach you everything I know about AI, mostly ChatGPT, but we will explore other tools on this channel and do so in a non-technical way. I will go slow. I will show you every single step because I want you to really grasp the power and the amazing potential that these AI tools offer us. Right, today we talk about ChatGPT's memory, so let's just get into it. ChatGPT's memory is a little feature you can turn on in order for ChatGPT to start collecting information about you, your business, or whatever other topic you wanted to collect information about throughout the different conversations you will have with it. Okay, so what I have here on the slide is a definition. ChatGPT can now remember details between chats, allowing it to provide more relevant responses. As you chat with ChatGPT, it will become more helpful because it remembers details and preferences from your conversation. So that is the official explanation from the OpenAI's website. One thing that is important to understand is the reason why it collects that information about you. And that is the primary goal is to save you from having to repeat that same information chat after chat the chat. So it's kind of like fixing that knowledge in some sort of memory so that you don't have to repeat it over and over. As a result, the chatbot will become better or will sound smarter over time the more stuff it knows about you because it can tailor its answers to your preferences. And you will notice that improvement as you use ChatGPT. So maybe, I don't know if you remember it, but the very first time you used ChatGPT, it sounded very generic maybe. But now, maybe after one year or two years of using it in my case, I find it amazing. So much stuff that it knows about me that sometimes I feel like it really nails the answer it's giving me. Okay, so let me get into ChatGPT right here. The first thing you need to know is that everyone has access to this feature. So that is great news. This is my ChatGPT Plus account. But right here, I have my ChatGPT free account. And I also have access to memory. I'm going to show you first from the account I use on a more regular basis, my Plus account, where to access memory. So you need to click on your profile picture, then go to settings, settings right here, and find personal when you go to personalization, you will see memory right here, right under the custom instructions. So memory, you'll see a little slider here that needs to be toggled on. Otherwise, it won't collect that information about you. So make sure it's toggled on. And we can read that ChatGPT will become more useful as you chat, picking up on details and preferences to tailor its responses to you. You can learn more with this article, which is pretty interesting, but I'm going to sum it up for you in this tutorial. So this should be enough. Now, it is important to understand that you are in control of ChatGPT's memory. Don't be freaked out by the fact that it collects information about you. It could sound like, oh, it's invading my privacy. Well, no, because you can decide whether or not to turn it on, like I just showed you, but you can go deeper than that. Let me show you what I mean. So back here to my settings, personalization and memory. If I click on manage memories, so this button right here, ChatGPT will show you everything it has kind of recorded, remembered about you, right? So you see a lot of information about me. So from here, 
there is a few different things you can do. First, you can clear ChatGPT's entire memory. If you click on that button, all of this information will be deleted. Okay, so that's the first thing you can do. So you can clean it up. Second is that you can delete individual memories. You see Ronnie is a Belgian expat living in Spain. This is kind of useful, so I'm going to leave it here. Then I have some information about brand personality, etc, etc. I have a bunch of different things here. If I want to find some, Ronnie prefers not to be spoken to in French. This is kind of irrelevant. Maybe someday ChatGPT started talking to me in French and I gave it the instruction not to talk to me in French, but this is not so relevant, so I can forget this. Okay, so forget. ChatGPT will forget Ronnie's preference to not be spoken to in French. Okay, so yeah, you can forget this. So I think you get the idea. You can pretty much sort out the information that it remembered about you because it's not always clear when it does remember stuff about you. So you can reset it. You can delete individual memories. You can just ask it. Say, hey chat, what do you have in your memory about me? Okay, you can just ask it and it will give you a breakdown of everything that it knows about you. See, it's starting to give me the, the breakdown of everything here. So it's not everything, but it's kind of like a summary. You can also ask it to remember new things. So for example, I could tell ChatGPT, hey, can you remember that Rondi stands for Ronnie and Diana, the first letters of each names. So I ask it to remember some things, an information, a particular information. So you see here, Rondi stands for Ronnie and Diana, representing the first letters of each of their names. So the memory has been updated. Now, this is pretty cool because with a simple prompt, you can ask it to remember new stuff about you and update its memory. And from here, if you hover over the memory update, you can go directly to the manage memory. So it will bring me back to the memory hub in ChatGPT and show me all of the memories. I can close that, get back to my conversation right here. Now, what if you don't want ChatGPT to gather information from specific chats that you have with it? Is that possible? Well, yes, there are two ways you could do this. You could go back to your settings and toggle off the memory slider, or you could start a new conversation new conversation, new chat, and you would go to your model selector here in plus and use a temporary chat. Okay, so you can toggle this on and now you see I am in temporary chat mode and everything I will be chatting about here will remain confidential. I mean, it will not be recorded in ChatGPT's memory. All right, guys, let's get into the crunchy part of this video. I'm going to give you a hack so that ChatGPT can easily start creating new memories or refresh its old memories about you, your brand, your business, whatever it is that you are doing. And I'm going to give you this hack in the form of one prompt, but also a way to execute this prompt. So the first thing I want to show you is that I'm going to do this from my free account. Okay, so Team Rondi's account is the free ChatGPT account. If I go to my settings right here to personalization, memory, you see it's turned off. So obviously there will be nothing here. Memory is disabled. And even if I turn it on like so, go to memories, you see it's empty. ChatGPT doesn't know anything about me so far in this account. So the first thing I need to do, obviously, to turn it on. And then, now this is where the hacky part comes from. So ChatGPT is gonna interview me, give me some questions or ask me questions, and all of that information is going to be remembered by ChatGPT to create new memories or to refresh its memory. It depends on whether you already have some memories, but me, I'm starting from scratch, okay? So the way we are going to do this is by by using this prompt right here. So let me start by reading the prompt to you. Hey ChatGPT, I want you to interview me to update your memory about my business, goals, and any relevant details. Ask me one question at a time and I will answer by voice so you can update accordingly. So that is the prompt. I'm going to copy this, Command A, Command C, and now is when I move to the living room. All right, so what I'm going to do now is to sit in my favorite sofa and grab my computer 
but I could also do the same thing with my phone. And I'm going to use the prompt we just saw, we just developed in that conversation and get ChatGPT to interview me, interview me about my business, about Team Rondi, but it could really interview you about anything else that you want to create memories about, okay? Stuff, information you want ChatGPT to remember about you. So you'll see, it's super easy. Altogether, it's going to be a conversation of about half an hour. Now, obviously, I'm not gonna bore you with the entire thing. I'm gonna show you bits of it so you understand kind of the dynamic of how it went. And then I will see you on the other side. I'm gonna go back to the studio and show you kind of like the updated memories that have been created by ChatGPT based on that interaction, based on my answers during this interview. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. That's exactly where I'm going to sit with this computer and start answering ChatGPT's questions. So I have my prompt right here. I'm gonna copy this. All right, so now I can come to ChatGPT, paste my prompt. I'm gonna run this prompt. All right, so the first question, what's your business about? Tell me the name, industry, and what you do. All right, so the business is called Team Rondi. That is spelled R-O-N-D-I. And Rondi stands for Ronnie and Diana, the first letters of each name. Got it. What industry is Team Rondi in and what kind of work do you do? Okay, so we are in the educational space. We create online courses that we sell on different platforms like Udemy and Skillshare. And we also offer free educational content in the form of YouTube tutorials. We have two different YouTube channels, actually three different YouTube channels. One in Spanish about Canva, the design app, and two in English. One about Canva as well. So that would be the equivalent of the Spanish Canva channel, but in English. English channel for Canva has about 520,000 subscribers, while the Spanish Canva channel has about 130,000 subscribers. And then we have a second English channel for YouTube, teaching people about how to use AI as a business owner or content creator or even career professionals. That's impressive. What are your main goals for Team Rondi this year? Are you focusing on growing the YouTube channels, expanding your course offerings, or something else? So our main goal are one, to continue growing our YouTube channels, particularly the new AI channel, because this one is much smaller. I started it only a few months ago. So this one has about 1,300 subscribers, so very small compared to the other two ones. So definitely growing the AI YouTube channel, continuing to grow both the English and Spanish Canva channels as well, and also continue to grow and expand our course catalogs on both Udemy and Skillshare with a focus on Skillshare. Our promise is to publish at least one class every month this year. That's a solid plan. Uh, are there any specific topics or types of content you want to focus on for your courses and, and YouTube videos this year? That makes total sense. Keeping the fun, engaging tone while also adapting to the professional vibe on LinkedIn will help you stand out. I've got everything now to match your style across platforms. If anything shifts in the future, just let me know. All right, so you have remembered everything we chatted about in this conversation, right? So your memory, ChatGPT's memory, is fully loaded now with that information? Yes, everything you've shared is now stored in my memory, and I'll be able to refer back to it whenever needed. So your content style, goals, team details, and plans are all set. All right, is there any way I can see all of that in written? I can summarize everything for you if you'd like. It would be a detailed breakdown of your business, goals, content strategies, and tone. Let me know if you want that and I can share it in a written form. Yes, please. Team Rondi Overview, business name, Team Rondi. Industry, educational, location, Spain. Founders, Ronnie and Diana. <laughs> I hope this gives you a comprehensive look at everything. Let me know if you'd like me to make any changes or add anything else. All right, I want to show you that the memory has been updated. So for this, I'm just simply going to come back to my profile picture, settings, and then personalization. Now, if I click on manage memories, remember it was completely empty. Now I have all of that information that it gathered from this interview it made of me in my spoken answers and from the summary of this information that ChatGPT just read out loud to me a few seconds ago. So you can see the information 
information, it's nicely structured. So the main goals for Team Randy this year, growing the YouTube channel, focus on the AI channel with the smallest number of subscribers, continue to grow both English and Spanish channels, etc., etc. So all the information for Team Randy's YouTube channel, the content strategy in 2025, for each of the channels, for Udemy, for Skillshare content strategy. So this is very useful. I can adapt if I want. I see some places here that my name is not correctly spelled. So I could do something. Okay, let me show you a trick here. Can you update your memory and make sure my name is always correctly spelled? Okay, and I will put my name like so, not Ronnie. Let's see if it can update its memory based on this last prompt. And I'm curious if it will actually change everything. I got it, Ronnie. Let me know how I can help. I'm going to refresh this to make sure everything is nice and refreshed here. I'm going to go back to my settings, personalization and memory. Let's see if I can see my name correctly spelled everywhere. Yep, Ronnie here. I don't see Ronnie misspelled anywhere else. Else. All right, guys, this is where we are going to leave it for today. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please support this channel. Give me a like, maybe leave me a comment. Tell me what else you would like to know about ChatGPT. I'm really open to create the videos you would like to learn about. So suggest some topics in the comment that will also trigger the algorithm, push the video to more people. Subscribe to the channel if you're not yet subscribed. I'm going to leave you with this other video about ChatGPT that I believe will be interesting for you if you dig this one. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.